Hey guys, this is Vian Friends One, and I'm talking about Nintendo Switch. Why? Because it is a new year, but more importantly, this year is when the Xbox Series X and the PS5 are supposed to release. So, how is Nintendo going to keep up with the, when the other consoles release? These other consoles seem to be pretty powerful. So how is Nintendo going to de get developers to develop games for the Switch when they have to downgrade it so much? Well, it's really simple, actually. I don't think Nintendo needs to do anything majorly fancy or whatnot to try to keep devs until they bring out their next console. Because the Nintendo Switch, as March of this year, will be about three years old. And the new consoles don't release until November, I believe, of this year. So... By the time the new consoles come out, Nintendo will only have to last for about a year and a half because usually Nintendo has about five years in between their consoles. And what happens when new consoles come out? Most developers, especially the big AAA ones, will be making games for both the new consoles and for the old ones. So I don't think that Nintendo will get left too far behind. If a developer already has to make a much weaker version for like the Xbox One and the PS4, I don't think most developers will be too much against making it for the Nintendo Switch. Why? Because of install base. The older consoles install base are still quite high. That's why I think during like the first about two years of a new console's lifespan, a lot of, especially the AAA devs, are still making games for the old consoles. So I think they will still be making games for the Switch at least for almost two years after the new consoles release. So that's enough time for Nintendo to bring out their next console, like maybe March of 2022, and have it be like at least close in power to the Xbox Series X and the PS5. At least to the point where devs don't feel too much of a gap between the systems. And obviously they have to deal with this SD card issue because that's the main reason I believe why devs actually don't make games for the switch sometimes because sd cards are so expensive and that's why sometimes when devs make games for the switch they're like hey we're only making a digital for the switch because sd cards are much more expensive than like blu-rays so i really think the switch can survive alongside the next gen systems for almost two years and i think that after about two years time nintendo should just bring out their next system that will be a proper competitor for the xbox series x and the ps5 but what do you guys think? Do you guys think Nintendo Switch will be left in the dust when the Xbox Series X and PS5 come out? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.